Good afternoon, everyone. It's Anita Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, my thoughts have been all about acceptance, acceptance and the energy of acceptance. So you think about people, and you might know someone like this, that, uh, you know, sometimes things work out really great for them, and they're like, yeah, I'm glad, or I'm really glad, or whatever, but uh, they accept it, and most of us do when things work out, right? And when things don't work out so well, those people, maybe some of us, are also in that space of, okay, well, that's how it's going to be. Now, there's a lot of people who still accept, but grudgingly, right? There's that yeah, well, I guess, well, I'd like it to change sometime, but uh, I guess I have to deal with this for now. And I think all of us have been in those spaces sometimes too, but it's a very different vibrational energy. If we were thinking about all of our energies that emanate from us, there is a different quality to the energy who says from someone who says, yeah, that's okay. I can handle this, right? And you think, wow, that person is so either easygoing or adaptable or different than me or that sort of idea where we think that's so unusual because really in our society, maybe in the world in general, it's not so easy for the mind to really accept things as they are. So, and it's interesting because not accepting something that is as it is is okay, but of course it creates a lot of struggle in our mind, right? So if we do not accept something, we understand that this is not right. I always talk about these uh, three A's. There's the acknowledgement, there's the acceptance, and then there's action. So if there's an acknowledgement of something is not right, there's the acceptance of, and so I need to do this to make it more comfortable for me. That's the only thing I can do, right? Because if something's not right outside of me, there's not really I can anything I can do that is going to change something outside of me. So today the weather is cloudy and I know where it's going to rain for a couple of days at least. And I accept it because, and most of us do, right? So even though we might think that, oh, I wish it was sunnier, there's that acceptance of what are you going to do? It's, it's not. And I'm very easy about that. Like, even though I do not like cold weather, I don't like damp weather, I don't love um, chilly weather, but at the same time, I am very accepting of, well, that's how it is. And so it's so easy, right? So again, when we think about mother nature, we really have to accept, we're forced to accept, but it's also the energy with which we accept it. Now, in our own life experiences, the same things are happening, right? I want this to happen. I was making me really happy if this happens and it doesn't happen. And so some of us will be like, okay, it wasn't supposed to happen or it's not supposed to happen now or maybe it'll happen at a different time, but it's not happening right now. I accept that. And that's a very interesting space to be. It's a space of peace. So wouldn't you know, I came across this awesome quotation by one of my favorites, Eckhart Tolle, and this quotation says, acceptance looks like a passive state, but in reality, it brings something entirely new to this world. That peace, a subtle energy vibration, is consciousness. Now, wouldn't this put it all together? I just finished speaking about spirituality and consciousness, right? So consciousness is really useful to focus on. And I will be talking a little bit more about consciousness and the subtle energy that I work with too in, I think we all do consciously or not consciously. I consciously work with this energy when I'm working with energy medicine. So of course, wouldn't you know that the next thing that I would come across is this great quotation by Stanley Krippner. And this says, the body does not end with our skin. It extends into time, into space, into other people. Again, the body does not end with our skin. It extends into time, into space, and into other people. And isn't this how I work? And I will say some of you might be working this way too, that uh, you might work with people that are around you that are not so happy. Let's say there's an angry person around you and you're really quiet and you're really gentle with your words and you know that that will affect how their energy is. But if you meet them at that same anger location, you will notice that both of your angers will flare, right? So this is a very conscious awareness today that you will have 
but subconsciously you've probably been aware of this that yeah i could not speak up when this person is really angry i have to stay quiet and some of us again have that extra energy then in that time of and that really makes me upset that i have to hold this in because they're upset right and some of us will be in that space of and i just know that they just need a little bit of space to to get over that anger right now, right? So that's the space that they're in. I'm going to stay steady in my space of acceptance of that's just how they are. Very conscious decision for us to make. It's a mindfully aware position to be in, right? That this is how I can be to maintain my steadiness, even though I'm recognizing the anger from the other side. So today, I would love for you to think about this because again, consciously or not consciously, we are all adapting to the energies that are around us. And some of us um, with some resistance and some of us with some flexibility. And we all have flexibility. If we can look into ourselves and see that, yeah, this is a space that I want to stay in. This is where I stay. So this is a mindful awareness. I wanted to finish with this great, um, I'll call it a quotation, but it's a, it's a wonderful way to say this. And you know that I work through the body, through our chakras uh, pretty regularly, and certainly for myself regularly. And these are energy centers in our body. And when I think about this, I thought this post that I saw was so beautiful. It says, I have three eyes, two to look, one to see. And I love that. Three eyes, right? Third eye, two to look one to see and really seeing from that space of wisdom is such a beautiful thing so today even being mindfully aware of am i paying attention to how i respond to the energies around me and i'm aware of the energy i'm putting out from it is it from this grumbling frustration or is it from an easy acceptance today I would encourage you to have easy acceptance today and every day, of course, but I hope that you can spend five minutes just having an easy acceptance around any energy around you that is maybe a little different than where you would like to be, be in the space that you would like to be and start spreading that energy around you. I wish you a fabulous day ahead. I hope you remember transform your mind and transform your life and your energy matters. Have a great day, everyone.